10 days are left for your board examination and in this video I'm gonna tell you how you have to plan your days and uh, prepare well for your boards how to appear what uh, mistakes you have to avoid I am going to make out a smart strategy and if you want to follow it you can you can start with 10 years 40 to 50 percent of your uh, question paper will consist of 10 years question the previous year questions make sure that you know the syllabus and you have to study accordingly please do not study those topics that are not in your syllabus at present and yes you can also keep a planner with yourself like it's written do match previous year questions do question answers do match pre-board papers and then highlight it after you've completed it today's plan biology 10 year questions physics theory and numericals chemistry reactions so this is how you can plan your day try to cover at least three subjects in a day if you want to maintain this uh, pace then you have to allot yourself six hours six to eight hours of study the subjects you feel are going to be considered in top five for your percentage calculation please prioritize them you can also purchase these amazing ebooks computer full syllabus maths full syllabus chemistry all reactions english language full syllabus ebook Physics, all formulas, ebook, and biology previous year questions, semester 2 ebook. Link to buy all of them is in the description box. Samples are also attached. Whenever you start revising a particular subject, for example, this is mathematics, the chapters you have already done must be uh, uh, studied first and then you have to move on to the chapters you are not familiar with or you have not practiced it very well. Brush up your concepts by practicing those chapters you have already done so that no marks is deducted in that physics has been a disastrous subject but i would tell you that you have to go and learn the definitions the important reasoning questions the keywords must be mentioned whenever you write the reason and some questions that are uh, given in board examination like calculating the equivalent resistance in series or in parallel then you have to practice all of them Avoid studying concepts that are out of syllabus. For example, construction of fuse is not in your syllabus. The working is not there. Leave it. Only do that portion uh, that's given in the syllabus. The graphs and the vibrations must be learned. A very important concept that is resonance. Now numericals also play a very important role and calorimetry the numericals are a little bit difficult for some students. What you can do is practice the examples and if you are not able to solve these questions then move to physics wala videos. Um, sir has taught a, a chapter of calorimetry it's numericals in a very easy way. Then move to previous year questions of this chapter try out the numericals. Moving to chemistry, it's made up of reactions. So you have to study the lab preparation and then the drying agents, the reasons why we have used um, these uh, reactants and what product we got, how is it collected. Everything is to be learned. I think uh, you can't leave any topic from this chapter or from chemistry. All the reactions are important. They'll ask you uh, write Haber's process. So this is N2 plus H2. And please balance the reactions. You have to balance it. Otherwise, uh, marks will be deducted. The temperature, catalyst, promoter, everything should be mentioned. Naming of organic compounds and the nomenclature, the IUPAC system is the most important topic in organic chemistry. As I told you, I have chemistry ebook in which I have covered all the reactions. If you want to buy it, uh, link is in the description. Now for biology, I'll just tell you like in this chapter, deficiency of uh, this particular hormone or over, uh, over secretion of this hormone will lead to. So you have to learn all of this, right? For example, um, pancreas, it is both exocrine and endocrine. They may ask you which is a duct as well as a ductless gland. What ha uh, happens on under secretion of thyroxine? Then the answers are simple goiter, cretinism and myxoedema. Over secretion causes exo 
exothermic quieter please make sure that you learn the diagrams and label it properly uh they may give you the diagram i have also uh, told you about this ebook of biology in which i have covered the previous year questions according to the semester 2 syllabus it has diagrams questions one word everything so again it is of 55 rupees only for history and geography again you have to learn the dates of events the important names and then president prime minister their qualifications and supreme court and then the qualification of judges and so on again you have to refer to 10 years it will be very helpful trust me i have seen a lot of questions from previous year thank you for watching this video have a good day all the best for your semester 2 board examination